Improving your own representation and visualization techniques requires more than simply mastering a software. You can learn by looking and analyzing how other people have done it. Similar to studying reference projects, we can study competition boards from winners. It's not about stealing or copying, it's about getting inspired and expanding your repertory. And today, we're going to analyze some competition boards on the professional level. Hey everyone, Oliver here with another video. If you like this type of content, don't forget to subscribe to not miss out on future videos. It's been a while since I wanted to bring this topic into this channel. And now, instead of looking at student competition, uh, which we were all familiar with, I thought of going one step further and analyzing boards from architects working on the field and see how they actually did it. Here in Brazil, we have a few national competitions on the professional level for public equipments. Uh, for public buildings, such as small hospital facilities, uh, social housing, and even on a bigger scale for parks and urban design. So I gathered a mix of these. Uh, not all of them are first places. I think I've got one uh, second and one honorable mention. I chose the ones that I really liked and that were good representation examples that we can learn from. Uh, as always, timestamps will be in the video player as well as in the video description if you want to check it out. And all the links and credits and authors are, are going to be there so you can see with more details and time. Now, before we jump into the boards, I have a huge announcement to make. I've partnered up with Architecturo for the Bauhaus Campus 2021 competition for students and recent grads. It's a pretty cool opportunity to practice outside of your comfort zone, a design view and university briefing and professor, and it's also a good way to expand your portfolio. Now, this is a hypothetical project, but with a real site in Dessau, Germany, right next to the iconic Bauhaus building from Walter Gropius and the new Bauhaus Museum by Adend Architects, which are also jurors of this competition. Amazing, right? Well, the link for the website is on the video description. I highly recommend checking it out. You can build teams of up to eight people to design together and divide a fee. And speaking of which, the fees changes based on your country. It's really cool that they priced the competition based on the, the price of movie tickets. So that in places where the economy is not that good at the moment, uh, we'll have a slightly smaller fee from the ones that are doing better right now. And lastly, I'm going to be doing an open lecture around March next year to talk about presentation boards. It's probably going to be a live session for the ones that join the competition. There, we're going to talk about composition, layouting, and you'll be able to ask me questions about representation and things you're struggling with. Uh, so that's a bonus. Also, I asked the organization team if they could do some sort of discount coupons for those who follow upstairs. So I got a 10% code that's going to be valid for a week only. Um, so if I were you, I would get the special registration fee plus this discount to join in. And there's also a few more things you can do to get discounts. All right, I think that's already too much information. Uh, go ahead and check their website, read the briefing, take a look at the timeline, movie ticket pricing and all of that. Now let's move on to the boards and I hope this helps you out during the competition. And also, if you have any questions, drop them below. The first one is the basic health facility from Savoia who is Arquitetus. It's currently under construction. Again, links down below to really see the full project's information. It's in Portuguese, but you can definitely use the browser automatic translator to get the English version. Now, you're going to notice that the professional competition boards usually have a very clean and minimal layout. And that's actually how you're supposed to do it. I mean, you want your images and drawings to stand out and not the board design itself, right? Now, this is the first board. It's pretty standard, but I think this is one of the best ways to get the full extent and open up a presentation. The whole board aesthetic has a lot of harmony from the building color palette to the people chosen to integrate displays, all the way to the, the saturated sky and the use of white lines and text. It has a mix of uh, computer drawn site plan, plus some hand drawn sketches that shows a bit of the project's party. And even though I said I wasn't going to comment on the project, this one is an outstanding design in my opinion. Then the second board. And then this one for me is simply incredible. It uses the sight lines to divide the board into three parts, but it does that in a really subtle way. 
diagrams, plan, and then a section in the same axis as the plan so that you can read both of them simultaneously. Can you see then how they overlapped the diagrams to the plan area here on the top part? So without being too cliche and without drawing too much attention, they integrated this almost as one big piece of drawing. Also, they used a warm tone, sort of a background color, and then emphasized the indoor areas of the plan with white, plus then a soft shadow to make it pop out even more. And then finally, the third board with just two perspectives. Uh, there were already loads of text and drawing information on the last two boards that they chose to take this one to show the interior with some full bleed images. And this really horizontal aspect ratio works pretty well for interior scenes. Now, I couldn't get a hold of the fourth board. Uh, the competition's website was bugging when I tried to open this fourth one, but you can check the rest of the images over their website, okay? All right, next up, uh, a social housing building. Uh, this project is from ArchBR. They also got first place and this, I'm not sure if it's built already or under construction. And right off the bat, you can see how differently the board and composition were done. It also takes advantage of the whole board to place a bit of text and a big image, but it has this sort of collage edges, uh, creating white space and making the board breathe a little bit. And although I usually say that you should frame your images on eye level, on this one, I think they aligned with the second building ground level so that both ground levels would stay visible from this angle. And it made so much sense. I think they got it perfectly right. And you can see that even though some of the people in car aren't that realistic, it doesn't really matter because the overall composition is beautifully done. The sky is subtle, but it has an angle that matches the perspective lines. The second board, and wow, come on, the colors are well chosen, the, I mean, the green is kind of strong, and the grassy texture has a lot of weight, but it's still very pleasing, and it has a lot of personality. It matches with the red-orange color that the facade has. The layouting is also pretty simple, uh, divided in half, and then top one half again. Then you've got a site plan and a ground level plan that allows you to see two croppings and scale of the site at the same time. The third board follows a similar layout, half and half again, images against more technical information. If it was me, I would probably create these diagrams in parallel projection, uh, just because it's easier to read and tell proportions without having the perspective messing it up. The next boards go really into more technical stuff. I mean, after all, the project was going to be built, so they had to go in depth into it before the juries. But not always that these infos are easy to create boards out of. So if you want to dive into the projects, links down below. Moving on, let's take a look at this urban project. This one is from Studio 41. Uh, these guys won a bunch of competitions. Somehow they figured out how to win professional competitions and their firm is focused on this type of project. Usually their boards are pretty simple as well, but each individual drawing or image is so strong that it makes the whole composition whole. Can you see how you can complement a site slash master plan with a few images? Uh, the proportions are intentional, the hierarchy is well thought out, uh, the aesthetics also on point. I mean, there's nothing that you haven't seen before. It gets the job done so well, it's clean and gets the message across. Again, uh, it makes the project, the drawings and the images really the focus and not the board design itself, right? I think that's the main goal. So they do it in such a way that you don't really pay attention to the layout and you can dive straight into the content. Elements here are not loosely put together. It looks like everything has a place. Now, obviously not all boards can do that perfectly because there are other technical stuff that needs to go in and sometimes it's hard to fit into the layout. We also have to take into account that time is a big struggle during competition, uh, so they might not be able to dedicate themselves equally to all the elements. All right, now lastly, and this one is on the private sector, uh, it wasn't a public facility, but instead I think it was a group of investors that wanted to build an apartment building and they did a competition to choose the design. 
This project is from Agencia TPB Arquitetura. They got an honorable mention. They didn't get first place, they got an honorable mention. But I really loved the images and diagrams and kind of like the plan and drawing style as well. So that's why I thought of bringing this into the video. Here the layout was done nicely in my opinion. Again, minimal, clean and display what needs to be displayed. Each element has a certain hierarchy within the board which helps to lead the viewer through all the information. The drawings and diagrams here, I think I would have worked a little further on the thicknesses and patterns, just like the site plan is beautifully done. I think now you can already spot that this board is pretty different from the ones we saw earlier. The main image does not have content on the sky, and it doesn't get the full board, but it gets half of it, and draws all the attention to it. On the second one, I wouldn't look at the layouting, but more at the individual drawing pieces. Uh, three boards to present such a big project like this is quite tight. Uh, you might need to condense more information than you wanted. I think the drawings here have a really unique style that doesn't compete with the images, and I think that was done really well. Then the third one, and this one is pretty cool, I mean the images are outstanding. Uh, since the first one I already really liked this style, for me this was really well done. And this type of image you don't get straight from a render engine, and there's so much you have to do by hand during a post-production, and that's what makes it so unique. The diagrams here are also amazing, I only think I would have aligned them differently, but again, competition's time frame is tough. Alright guys, so what did you think about this theme? I want to talk more about boards and about competitions here on the channel, but I've shared most of my own projects and competitions already. Uh, plus, I think we can learn a lot from reference studying. Learn from the ones that also got there, right? Well, I think we can learn a lot from student competitions as well, but professionals usually go a bit more serious and technical, which is nice to see. Today, I brought only Brazilian competitions because it was the one I had easy access to. I guess most of you really haven't seen this before, and I felt it would be a good exchange of cultural information as well. But I would love to do this again with international competitions. Uh, I want to bring huge firms like Herzog and Demiron, Big, Kengo Kuma, and so on. But I couldn't get a hold of the winning boards. I'm not sure if they share that or how does it really work. So if you know how it is, uh, please let me know in the comments below and suggest me competitions for future videos. Thank you so much for watching, uh, don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it, follow us on Instagram at LearnUpstairs, and as always, I'll see you in the next one, bye!